Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. We are at Trump Towers at CES 2016, and I am going to show you the new Asus Chromebook. This is the new C202A Chromebook. It's Braswell based, brand new at the show. So new, in fact, that we don't have a working model and we can only show you how it's made. So, this is actually quite an interesting exercise for them. So, we have the external chassis here. So, you can see that this is the outside of the PC. It's got a good, kind of nice. Uh, rugged-ish finish on the, the plastic on the outside, but we have some improved heat shielding because of aliens or radiation from your screen, whichever you believe in. Down here on the bottom, you can see that we have metal kind of bracing this plastic around the edges. And then here, we have the speakers. So these are the two stereo speakers here. So we have one on this side, and then we have wires that connect it to the one on the other side. And then remember this connector, because I'm going to show you where this plugs in to the PCB. The PCB actually sits here, and there's actually additional shielding to protect the PCB from external elements. Now, I'm just going to spin this lovely tower of knowledge around for you. And so here we have probably the most interesting uh, panel on the new Chromebook from ASUS. So here's the actual panel. And if we stay kind of up here, you can see this is where the webcam is. So there's the webcam right there. And then there's wires that connect that to the PCB. And then up here, this is the Wi-Fi antenna. right? So that kind of goes all the way down around the side and then connects in over here. So this is where the wireless card would connect over. So that's where you, they, they would plug that in. That card is actually missing on this. And that connects just down under here with this wire that I won't pull out anymore. Here's the connector for the battery. So you can see that that's not plugged in because we don't want this unassembled unit to be powered. That would be bad. So this plugs into the battery. Around here, here's the connector to the daughter board. So when you have USBs and PSU or PSUs on the other side, it needs to connect to the main board here. So here we have the connector. There's a USB Type-C. And this is where you would actually plug it in. So the main power comes in here, and then it drags across over to there. So that's kind of an interesting way to fill up the battery. If we keep on looking at what's happening here, there's just so much going on on your computer. So this actually drapes across the top of the battery and will connect to your trackpad. So that's how that connects to the motherboard here. So that's where that would plug into that there. If we kind of keep on moving down, this here, this one right here, this is where you would connect your keyboard. And if we keep moving down there, that's where I told you to remember where the sound card plugged in. So that's where your stereo speakers plug in. And just beside that, you can see that that's the EMMC a flash memory. So that's the memory there. It says 32 gigs. Um, the spec sheet that we got had 16. So maybe we'll have some surprises when uh, this goes to market. Around this other side here, I'm just going to keep turning because I need to look and see what, what, what these are. So this is your headphone jack. That is a USB 3.0. And then that we have a full-size HDMI. So this is the other connectors down the other side of the board. Now, if we just kind of crouch down low and we take a look at the underside of the PCB, there's so many things happening down there. Oh my gosh, guys, we're going to be crouching for a little while. So this is the new Braswell chip. So this is the uh, uh, Celeron. N3060. So this is actually a new uh, processor for me. I'm actually very excited to start reviewing these because I think the Celeron lineup on Braswell is not going to suck like previous generations of Celerons did. And then we have, there's the four gigs of RAM. So we have that right down there. Now there's just a lot of other components happening here. That's where the Wi-Fi antenna connected through and then you can see the power and then of course this is a 38 watt hour battery and it's just cool that they've kind of wrapped it around the whole length of the unit to kind of get as much in there as possible so now after we kind of look at that here's the next stage where we have the front panel for the for the display and then here's where the keyboard is so remember how i said the, there's a connector for the trackpad and a connector for the keyboard so these have two separate connections in order to get these two physical uh, pieces working so underneath there's not really much going on actually you can look underneath because there is a couple of chips yeah anyway so let's keep on going around here so this is another section. This is the back panel here. And actually, it's more interesting on this side because you see that we have more heat shielding. Now here, we have the mock-up unit. So this is the combination of all of these pieces right here. So all of these things came together to make up this unit. Now it has like this great ruggedized plastic finish. 
Now there was an SD card slot that wasn't actually showing in here. So there's additional things. So remember how I showed you this right over here? Oh, the SD card slot was right there. I missed it, right? So there it was just under the side of the board. And then there seems to be another. This must be the, oh, so th there's this open space here. This, this is actually where it looks like we have a 3G connector for a SIM card in there. That, is that what that is or is that a speaker? That's a speaker. That's quite sneaky. I, I try to stick stuff in there. So that's actually the, the speaker grill. <laughs> this is a full-size um, SD card here. So this is what it looks like when it all comes together. And if you took that, if you took off this bottom panel, you'd be able to see some of that, but not all of it. But as I showed you, that um, a lot of the pieces are soldered onto the board, so there isn't that much that you'd be able to do. And additionally, there's a Kensington lock on here, and then we have this great kind of rugged finish for the Chromebook. So sadly, we don't have a working model, but we got to see exactly how this whole thing came together and a little bit of insight into how you know, your modern day laptop looks if you got to peel back the surface. So this was just a very fun look at the new Chromebook from ASUS. I can't wait to see it in action because I'm really looking forward to checking out the new generations of Braswell processors. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks at the Computer Electronics Show 2016 at the ASUS booth. <laughs> <laughs>